Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Nikos Sorman, and I'm with the Systems Biology Institute, and I'm the main developer for the Garuda platform. Uh, before I get to explain what the Garuda platform is, let me first uh, say that uh, this presentation is mainly on the platform itself, and not on the biological aspect. And of course, I will have to start to explain why we need such a platform. Uh, over the course of the years, the data that's been generated by biologists is getting bigger and bigger, and of course, that creates a lot of problems uh, on how to analyze it. Of course, more data is good because we have a better overview, but of course, we need more and more power in order to analyze the data. On top of that, there's a plethora of tools that uh, do more or less the same job. For example, there are a lot of tools for data, a lot of databases to host the data, uh, a lot of uh, modeling tools. Uh, for example, you have a, a lot of tools that do simulations, and you don't know exactly which tool is the best. Of you sometimes you use one or two tools, and to make things work, uh, worse, uh, there are a lot of tools that are hidden. Uh, people have made a couple of tools just to do the research, and then they just put the this uh, simulation software, for example, on the side, and it might be very good, and other people might want to use it, but they cannot really find it. To make things even complicated, uh, since we don't have any standardization there, and uh, file formats can uh, be compatible from versions to versions, and of course, nobody's using only one tool. There's a series of uh, softwares that somebody's using in order to complete his task. It puts a lot of overhead while he's dying, trying to do science. So it's apparent that uh, there is a need of a platform that will address all this issue. And this is what we're trying to do with Garuda. Uh, Garuda is an open platform that uh, can interface with a lot of tools that will not depend on architecture or uh, software uh, languages. Uh, it, uh, our uh, idea is also to have discoverability there, so you will just bring the data to the tools and not the other way around. And of course there is uh, the issue of navigation, so we try to make the navigation from one tool to the other seem as seamless as possible. <coughs> And a little bit of, uh, let's say, historical background here. Uh, Garuda is uh, a divine bird from the Hindu mythology. So there's a major event that's called the churning of uh, the Sea of Milk, where the gods and the demons cooperate in order to create the elixir of life. And uh, in this, let's say, event, Vishnu, which is the, the top deity of the Hindu mythology, uses Garuda as a platform in order to oversee this uh, process. So similarly, we call our platform Garuda. And uh, it's an open community-driven platform, which allow all the different stakeholders, like for example, informaticians or modelers, to collaborate in order to produce better biology, better science. And uh, the elements of this, the key components to Garuda, is uh, of course a dashboard which uh, you can see which gadgets you have uh, downloaded and you can use at a given moment. Uh, there is also a network of. Uh, ah, in this, uh, let, let me introduce you what a Garuda gadget is effectively. Uh, uh, we've implemented an API which a software developer can use in his software and it, let's say, transforms it to a Garuda gadget. A Garuda gadget is something that is discoverable and navigable on the Garuda platform. And so also there's a network of these gadgets which can exchange data and you can jump from one to another while you're doing your uh, tasks. We're, the APIs we've uh, created are uh, cross-platforms. Cross cross we don't want to be dependent on any uh, language. We don't want even to be dependent on architecture. And also we have a, a gateway, uh, let's say something like a store, that people can go there and search and discover gadgets that are being suited to, to their kind of work. 
Uh, an object key component is the Garuda core. The Garuda core has the knowledge of all the gadgets that are being registered, and also it can know when somebody is asking for is asking for a certain type of gadget to work, and also uh, can also uh, give recommendations to other gadgets that you can go and download it in order to complete your task. So, I, as I mentioned before, this is uh, effectively what it does. I mean, if somebody gets the Garuda API and puts it inside its own application, it's, it's a Garuda gadget. It can be discovered, it can be used by the core and by the scientist. And here is a small overview. As you can see here, there are various gadgets that, of course, they're marketed to different databases or services. And in the center is the core. The core has the knowledge of all the gadgets. All the gadgets communicated with the core. So somebody can, for example, jump from one gadget to the other and have a nice pipeline and flow of work and data. Uh, this is a screenshot of the Garuda dashboard. As you can see, we try to make uh, things as simple and as visual and visible as we can. So we, I'm sure everybody is familiar with this kind of layouts, like uh, playing around with your iPhone or Android device. And uh, double clicking, you will launch the gadget. You can also navigate by category, and you can have the details of uh, the gadgets uh, at hand if, in case you forgot or you have a further look at what it does. And one of the gadgets we made is called uh, Garuda Social Network Gadget. So, effectively, we see gadgets like uh, uh, I say, it's, it's, it's a social thing because. One gadget talks to another, depending on the data they, they can exchange with each other. So by using this gadget, you can have an overview and uh, also search for the gadget you will want to do uh, the next step of your task. And as I mentioned, this is the Garuda Gateway. You can go there, search for gadgets, and also download them and uh, use them. And of course, what is key in the Garuda is the alliance. Uh, we have a global consortium with, with over 25 members from 50 countries. And you can see some pictures uh, from the hackathons we're uh, organizing uh, regularly. And also there are some of the, uh, the people that are so far members of the Canada Alliance. And here is a list of uh, some of the Garuda use cases. Uh, the different partners have uh, utilized Garuda for different tasks, and uh, you can see some of them here. And of course, this is not necessarily all from our team. There are different people, uh, different people using Garuda for, for their own purposes. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to show a small video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you Garuda in action. And first, you're going to see the gadget network and how you can utilize the uh, this uh, gadget, the social gadget, in order for you to discover what is uh, better for you. And also, I'm going to select a data from uh, the virtual uh, helper, which we call it Nandi. And uh, I will discover different gadgets that can process uh, the data, and you'll see how the user can navigate through different gadgets depending on the analysis they want to do. Here is the gadget social. This is the network of the gadgets here. I can search depending on the data I have at hand. I can also find a, a certain gadget. And also there is a matrix here. Here, uh, from Panther, I'm discovering, uh, I'm selecting, uh, I'm 
downloading the, the model and I'm selecting another gadget, I take it to Cell Designer. From here I can do another step that now I'm trying to extract the list of the gadgets and the genes again. <coughs> Thank you very much.